Let's get Anya back up here. Let's get the other two up as well. We can't put that in the box. I think we need to secure. Yeah, okay. So. You do that. Let's get up here, guys. Let's go, Ruben, buddy. So all that, all that wood we're going to use for fuel has to be used for this instead. Okay, that should last for some time he says. So we can secure the rest of this then, Ruben. Put in the box and secure them. Zoran, I think, is finished. Yes, he is. Okay, so why can't we secure the rest of this stuff? Can only look at it, I can't do anything else. Sefer Hanzora, 14th century, Jews expelled from Spain at the end of the 15th century, found refuge in many countries, including Vicinia. They brought with them their holy books and scriptures, and among them, the ornate Kabbalistic manuscript. Almost all the Vicinian Jews were murdered during the Holocaust, but this manuscript bears witness to their centuries-long presence in Pogrin. Okay, and then let's check the next one. Panorama of Pogrin, 1798. This painting by an unknown artist shows the panorama of Pogrin shortly before the loss of independence. Most of the buildings visible in the painting did not survive to modern times. Okay. Vesbog statue. This 11th century wooden statue of pagan deity Vesbog is the oldest Vicinian artwork discovered in the 19th century. It became one of the national symbols and even a cult object for the uh, effigies of romantic uh, neo paganism. Okay. Next. This manuscript is a 19th century forgery, most likely by the historian Ivo Makar, and created to prove that Vicini wrote in their own language as early as the 11th century. Some of the more fervent nationalists still believe it is authentic and consider it a national treasure. Okay, interesting. A famous Murasav uh, Rotochko painting from 1869 that depicts the great victory of the Sini army, army over Grazny Raiders in the Battle of Leech Swamp, created over two decades later. The painting became a symbol of freedom for the Sini community, which has lost its independence at the time. It is Redko's uh, magnum opus 
and a work of art well known all over the world. Okay. So that's done. Uh, next, we probably need to make some more fuel. He's tired, so he should actually go to bed. You're tired. Okay, so once Ruben is done, he's going to go to bed. She's going to go and make the fuel that we need. Okay, that was a hectic day. Okay, so tonight you're gonna guard, you're gonna sleep in the bed because you're sick, and she's gonna scavenge, and we're going back to the supermarket. Prepare. We won't bring anything with us. For now. Yeah, okay, let's just go scavenge. Okay, now it could be more dangerous this time. side okay so we have to go this way it's on bar the door just in case we need to an alternate way to run Good. Let me search here. Nothing else up there, that's interesting. Let's get down here and then. Actually, let's go over here and check inside. Those dudes are still there. I want to 
go all the way over this side. Medicine, not the best kind, but it's something. Oh, we've already been over that side, okay, so let's check there. Grab that and check there. Oh, okay, those two are locked. They might be worth coming back for. Let's get going. So we got that. Whatever is here. One more trip here would definitely be worth it, I think. Okay, for now we're gonna run to the exit. Okay, day 16. Hello, look at all the stuff. Okay, so she brought some stuff. The night was calm, that's good. Right, so... She should go to bed. Zoran's in bed right here. Um, so he's very tired. He's gonna have to wait his turn though. Let's go check this with him. Cigarettes. Oh, someone's at the door now. Great. Um, she's gonna have to go then. Okay, let's see. Uh, get the truck ready for evacuation. Gather items scattered across program. Road collection to the main storage. So, let's put Ruben in bed. Well... I was wondering, do you run this place? No, Melania is in charge, but she's not here at the moment.
Do you want to wait for her? Well, listen. We're tra trading small talk here. But you might have something that's worth a lot to me. We could make a nice deal, help each other. No, I don't think so. We'll, we'll see. Our exhibits are not for sale. All I'm looking for are some old case files. They're worthless to you, but those papers could be very useful to me. What case files are you looking for, and why? Property taken, takeovers and extortion, 1972 to 78. For the information inside those files, I could really help you. Malena won't even consider your offer. But she's not here, is she? Think about it. So he has stuff to trade. For now we'll I think we just leave him, right? We had another visitor today, a trader named Taras. He was selling some regular stuff, but he was also especially interested in some documents we have. Yeah. Bit too suspicious. But we're gonna let him just wander off on his own rather than tell him to go away. Um, I think she's gonna go eat. Not sure whether today or tomorrow was eating day, but she's gonna eat today. Okay, then we'll Ruben to get up. Anya's gonna go sleep. Let's check Ruben's bio. A trader named Taras paid us a visit today. I feel we should be careful with people uh, wandering around. There's loads of shady guys trying to take advantage of the current circumstances. That guy definitely asked too many questions. Yeah, everybody's suspicious of him. Okay, so we need some fuel. Eat. Then go there. You're going to eat as well. Okay, put the box in secure. Bed. What's his bio say? Another guy sniffing around our stuff today. Hope Melena comes back soon to scare away shady guys like that Taras. She really knows how to deal with scoundrels like that one.
So we've got to um, brace that because that collapsed onto that and it's causing that one to collapse, right? And that could collapse right on there where his bed is. That would not be a good idea. Part of the problem you have though is too many tired people. Oh, she's up there. Good. Right, you go fix that then. Okay, then Reuben can go to bed. Yeah, we know there's someone waiting outside and they can wait. Okay, now, let's make some fuel. Let's go there and make the fuel. I have to make all the fuel because otherwise there's no point in saving it and having people die, right? Ah, I didn't get to put it in. Okay. He's going to sleep in the bed because he's sick. She's going to scavenge, you're going to guard. Now you're going to be very tired tomorrow, but that's what we have to do. Wait, where did he go then? 81%, 76. Going to go back to the construction site. Because that's too dangerous. Huge amounts of what? Weapons, yeah. People are carrying them, is the thing. And I'm gonna bring that just in case we need it. And let's go. Okay, that dude is still there. Locked shit. Don't tell me it's been a waste of night. Possibly. I just don't know where else there would be stuff. Okay. 
check there, I guess. Yeah, it looks like a complete waste of a trip. Hmm. Well, there's something there, but that's about it. Cigarettes. Yeah, so I think what I'll do is I'll probably end it now and then redo the day to come back here with a lockpick instead because otherwise I don't see a point really okay yeah so I'm gonna end the session there I hope you have enjoyed I hope you keep me safe right there I hope to see you next time goodbye I hope you enjoyed this video if you did maybe consider hitting the subscribe button there on the right or checking out some other videos here on the left, or perhaps you might even share with some friends.